we've got a, another project coming on Clifford. What my plan is today is I'm going to try and retrofit these headlights. Now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. I think I might have something worked out, but I'm not exactly too sure, so I hope I don't screw this up. But the plan is, since these headlights are absolute trash, what, what happens is, A, this lens is all buggered off, and then the LED bulbs that the guy had put inside, they overheat constantly, so they're always flickering on and off. Can't really trust them, they're not reliable, so 90% of the time I'd always end up using the light bars that were up on the roof. They're obviously not there anymore since I rolled it, so I've got something a little bit different. I'm going to try and work it out and see how that goes. We have got some Weston LEDs going into the rig. So right there we've got the Hyperforce spots. I'm going to constitute those as my high beams. And then we've got the FM6 floods. So those are going to constitute my low beams. And then I've got this dual combo light bar, 20 inch. That's going to go right there. So that's the plan. I'm going to put the floods in where the high beam, in where the multi-bucket goes. And then the spots, I think I'm either going to go right there in the grill or right there and have it all wired off my high beam, low beam switch. So when I'm on low beams, the floods will be running. And then when I hit the highs, the, uh, the spots will come on. So give it a go. I'm going to start marking these headlights to get them cut up so I can start building some panels and get going on it. inside and on the outside with some 80 grit that's going to allow my epoxy to adhere what this is is a two-part heat set epoxy it's um, it's meant for bonding carbon fiber and SMC and fiberglass panels together it's wicked strong so once I get it on there and on here and throw the heat to it and get it cured that's not coming off it's not going anywhere so I'm just gonna prep the edge of this real quick nice coat this guy. I'm also going to give this a hit as well. Get this piece set. We're glued. It's set in place. It's not coming off, it's not going to go anywhere, so I just got to trim up some of the excess glue. Okay, so there's my headlight buckets. That's how it's glued all the way across, and then on the inside, obviously, it's glued there. So it's quite rigid. It's a little bit taller than original, but whatever, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I like that. That is definitely what I'm after. So what I'll do here now is I'll get this painted black to match that. And then I'm gonna have to cut the factory housing. So then the, the look that I'm after is basically have all this exposed in here. And then, so it's just like a floating, a floating light there.
That's the look. That just, that is so killer. Like that just looks so awesome. I love that. Very happy with how that's turned out so far. Uh, that's exactly the look that I wanted. Kind of this smooth, sleek part of the, the headlight housing and then just this, I don't know, almost like a bionic, how I'll call it, look. I think it looks right on. Uh, now it's just a matter of getting these headlight buckets wicked clean, clean them up the best that I can because they're gonna get sealed up and once they're sealed up, there's uh, there's no coming back from that. All right, cool, so headlight housing is all cleaned up and then the interior of the headlight is all cleaned up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some windshield urethane and I'm gonna spread the urethane on the inside of this uh, headlight channel and then I'm gonna put a thin layer all the way across onto the headlight itself. So I'm gonna want a little bit fatter of a base uh, so I can get a good seal on here. I'm gonna go about there on the tip. And then I want a taller band. And that's going to give us a nice fat base and then a, a, a fan that'll stand up and it'll kind of have a, a bit of a point to it. Now that we've got our fan of urethane sitting on the top, I'm going to take a small amount and put some on the the inside channel. Just getting the high beam pods mounted up and all I've done is I've just cut the grill out and then drilled a hole into the grill housing itself and just put a, uh, a nut cert clip on there. So then that just sits and bolts through and then just to keep some vibration down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, uh, a screw through the header panel and screw it into the grill surround there on the bottom just to keep it from vibrating. Pretty simple install. There we have it. Lights are installed. Lower bar is set in place. It's not wired up, but I gotta tell you, these things are awesome. floods and then I've actually just got the high beams wired into my fog lights just because of the wiring was too much of a pain in the ass to get them to run off both but there we are that's Clifford's light setup pretty happy with that I gotta say I really like the light dispersion and how it actually works but now what I need to do is off of the lights themselves, uh, once I get everything all set up, I'm going to have to build plates that come off to mount the light to the grill just to keep everything rigid. And then once I got my donor Jeep and I do my custom, uh, my custom flare set up, I'll have another plate system that goes down off of here and rivets in. So that's basically it. Wraps that project up. Uh, now it's a matter of swapping parts from the donor Jeep. We've got doors going in place and a custom roof. So stay tuned.